What's going on guys? I'm Matt Jones. Welcome back to my channel. Who's ringing me? Two days ago I got an email from the organisers of Crankworks inviting me to Rotorua, which is cool. I did know I was going, but it's always nice to get the invitation. Included in the email though, said that this year all athletes competing in slope style must wear a full face helmet. And that's really cool because clearly safety is the number one priority, but I haven't worn a full face in a contest for about two years and it's actually really different. I always wear like what's called a piss pot or an open face helmet because you get I can see everything. I can see what my hands are doing, I can see what my feet are doing. So Red Bull have just sprayed me, painted me, a brand new full face helmet which is so cool and we'll look at that very shortly. But right now I'm off to my compound, I'm picking up young compound apprentice George Sneelis and we're going to have a session. I've done loads of work up there with loads of help so it's happened now, the compound's ready to go. It's going to be a sick day. Morning! Morning! Just finishing off my breakfast. <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> That's disgusting. Mate, it's 9.44. What's your excuse? Hmm? Oh, McLaren 570S, yes. you just missed it. Is it white? Yeah. I saw it yesterday. Unreal. What you got? Rank. Porridge. Come on, get your bike. Back in a minute. Who walks out of their house with their breakfast to tell you that they're just finishing their breakfast? Young George. You ready, George? Yep. Welcome back to my compound. Loads has actually happened, not on the pump track, obviously, it's still a complete disaster. But the top of the rolling is mega now, it's so perfect, and we'll look at that in a minute. But last night, me, Andy, and Finn built a concrete slab. So, the problem with wooden takeoffs is you always build sand and dirt up to the edge of the takeoff, but when you like carve for a 360 or hit the ramp, it just breaks all the dirt up, so you always get a rut before a lip. And I feel like the only way to solve it is to build, well, we've made a concrete slab, but it's actually quite deep. So hopefully it's gonna act like an insane paving slab and last forever. It's not actually completely hard. We could actually just put a wooden board over the concrete, couldn't we, for today? Yeah, yeah definitely. It needed another few hours. Oh, I see what you mean. But it's pretty hard, but it would leave a tire yeah, mark, can. wouldn't it? And if a tire mark goes in there. <laughs> it's, never, it's never coming. No. Yo. Pigeon. No, it's just sick. Oh, right. Bit better, eh? Well, good. I'll show you from the top. Yo, pigeons. Stressing. So much better. Right, so where George is stood, you can remember George, can't you? Yeah, you could only come to about yeah here there was a massive great hole because when i first built this place i had a series of ladders that came up the inside of the scaffolding through a trap door there which was safer but took ages so in the five well four or five years i've been riding here george has only been riding here six months no one's ever stood where george is which means where we used to only be able to fit three riders up here now we're going to have a whole six-man squad at least plus people on the viewing gallery which looks crazy Scaffold boards from the front all the way up to the back. So this stuff's gonna last for years, whereas the plywood down there lasted about six months. It's, we're gonna get five years out of this. You've never stood there, have you? No. So much, such a better view. We used to only, like just squeeze three people. And for us being like left foot forward, dropping in that way is so much easier than yeah. always coming from that angle. Look at the planing job as well here. That was Alex Cahill. What tricks today, George? 360 on the mulch. Could Mate, or, happen. Or a flip tuck. Flip tuck called from George Sneelis, ready for the contest season. Can everyone just ignore the pump track for now? We're there, we're ready to ride. This landing's looking mega. 
Tony's made some mods to this kicker to make the bottom smoother. Get your pads on Alex, we're dropping in. It feels so crazy dropping in from a place where I've never stood before. Oh, yeah. Have fun boys. That feels better. That goes to show what a difference just a bit of TLC makes to a set of jumps. I'm going to do a whip to a whip. All right, how about you? Yes, lad. That was quite a close train. Look at the space I've got to play with, everyone. Right, I'm gonna do a 360 bar spin into 360 tail whip. Right here. <laughs> Matt Jones making false claims. Let's try again, 360 bar spin, 360 tail whip. I almost missed the landing. Yeah, George. <laughs> nice. Woo. First one of the day. Always the worst. Or the best, I don't know. It depends if say, ignorance like, is bliss like sometimes. Yeah, Finn. Nice. Oh, oh God, he crashed. You all right? <laughs> Yeah, what happened? Your shoelaces got caught. Yeah. How did the mulch taste? Muddy. Get this line. Oh no! Huge cases all round. the jumps feel good so it's probably worth saying the reason why I'm so stoked of doing like a truck driver and a 360 tail whip isn't that I find those tricks extremely difficult because on most sessions here or a trick jump or a skate park I do do those tricks but today honestly the full face helmet is actually a bit of a challenge I've spent a good two years doing all my tricks with full visibility and just a helmet I'm used to and changing what's on your head has made an insane difference. It's, it's not knocked my confidence. I just, I'm choosing tricks like ones with bar spins and ones with tail whips to challenge myself because I can't see my pedals and I can't see what my hands are doing. I'm going off of muscle memory and feel, which is actually fine. Like it's clearly okay, but I'm finding it a challenge. So the new helmet. Whoa, you're right. Yeah, Alex. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a myth buster session. A lot of people think that Red Bull helmets come as Red Bull helmets, but there's actually no such thing as a Red Bull helmet. I am sponsored by TSG, who make this helmet, the TSG Advance. I get sent this helmet from Switzerland. Then I post it to Red Bull, and then they post it to Image Design Custom, who paint it. I've gone for a matte paint job, which isn't as like shiny and reflective, but I think that I've always had matte helmets. I've never actually had a glossy one. None of this is actually a sticker. It's completely airbrushed. So they paint it. Well, I don't know what color they start with. Say so they start, they paint the whole thing silver. Then they paint the blue on top. Then they paint the white letters. Then they fill it in with the red letters. It's full blown airbrush. There's no stickers, which means they last a long time. Stuff that can flex like a peak. You can bend it and the paint doesn't smash off. It's insane. I'm so lucky to have one of these and I'm gonna have to ride it all year because open face helmets are a thing of the past. What? Mate, that was fantastic, but the whole thing was out of focus. Oh, cool, thanks. So you're welcome to go again. Oh, that is it. <laughs> Please blame me. I'm also wearing the Adidas collab shoes. 
check them out. Such a product review day. New full face helmet, new shoes. What a day. Sunshine. Flip tuck, three tuck bar. All the GoPro viewers at home are gonna have to take the flip tuck. Take my word for it. That felt so sick. Oh, yes, I haven't done one of them in about six months. Young apprentice George has been sunbathing, but he's just said that he's up for the flip no-hander, which he called earlier, which I admire. He's aware that he's called a trick and he's aware he has to do it. And now he's sat up on the rolling trembling. I believe in you, George. Come on, mate. Oh. No, get it done. Oh. Yeah. Oh, -ho! is he down? Yeah. Oh god, he's down. How are you doing, dude? You saw? My leg got all caught up in the forks. Oh mate, that's the worst. Fully twisted. That white T-shirt, George. How is your leg? <laughs> really hurts. He's right up, mate. Finn, I feel like you need introducing. What's your name? Finley. Age? 10. Favourite place to ride? Here. What's your best trick you've ever done here? Oh, flip. Finn is honestly 10 years old and has done a flip on that mulch jump, which is, it blows my mind. We've come to Woburn because we've seen Instagram stories while at my compound and it just looked too good. Best trail session of the year. So the whole squad are here now. It's going to be ultimate. Look at the weather. It's like you don't get this in February in the UK. If you're not, why don't you all let me know about the white t-shirts? I was only here two days ago and it's such a difference. Yeah, we're getting a four-man train going. It looks so unreal through trails. I'm, I'm not going to do the fifth one. Why? Finn, the fifth jump's easy. In fact, it's almost as easy as clicking subscribe on this video. Right, fellas.
Proper flat landing. Yo. I didn't even film an outro after that session because it was so insane. Compound ran the best it has in a long time. Woburn is the best it's ever been. And it was just an unreal day. Shout out to Greg for the additional shots. And now it's the next day and I'm filming an outro now. As Ben's turned up, we're going to film another video, which is sick. So it's quite exciting to be making loads of YouTube stuff. But yesterday was a prime example of just taking the camera along, see what happens, and it was a vlog. I really hope you enjoyed that video, and we'll see you in one very, very soon. Hit subscribe, I would appreciate it. I can't force you to, but if you do it, you just know from the bottom of my heart, I'm gonna really value that as a decision to move your index finger. Peace out, guys, you're all absolute legends.